and that this is the heat kit DX40. The DX40 came out in approximately the mid to late 50s. It was a transmitter designed for 75 watts input on CW and approximately 50 watts input on phone. Now, phone is a little bit different in this situation because this is called carrier control modulation. In most AM rigs these days, the modulation is applied on the plate and that gives you a little bit of a cleaner modulation. However, Heathkit went the cheaper route and the modulation is applied on the screen grid so it varies the power causing amplitude modulation. So the quality of the audio is a little bit muddy uh, compared to uh, plate modulation. Uh, this DX40 has a couple of modifications that have been put onto it. Uh, most DX40s do not have a microphone gain switch. This one does on it. And it does work. And it has a tuning control that was added in. I did not like the way it worked, so I disconnected it on the inside. So that's the DX40, and I'm going to show you that this one works. Uh, the first thing we normally do, we have a 40 meter crystal inside, and we adjust the grid for approximately 3 mils of grid current. Okay, and there we are, and power is indicated over here. We put it in the CW position, throw this over to plate, and we are going to tune the final tuning for a dip. When you reach resonance in a tank circuit, the least amount of current is drawn uh, when you dip the final. And that's when, at resonance, the least amount of current is drawn. So, we will hit that. You see, and I'm going to dip this. And if you see, if you look at the power meter at the same time over here, the least amount of current, uh, the least amount of current gives you the most amount of power. And you can add more loading this way, and you get a little more power, and we dip it again. And in this case, the meter is showing about 55 watts output with 75 watts in. Okay. So, now we'll throw it in the phone position. And we'll see how this works with a D104 microphone. <clears throat> so I will pick up the microphone and see what we have here. I'll put it in. I'm going to pull the key jack out so we get modulation. Obviously, we get a little bit uh, too much. Let me turn the audio gain down a little bit. Eh, we still getting quite a bit of feedback. Uh, that's not going to help it. <clears throat> Let's try this. Let me put this up here, and we are getting, and you can hear, well, what I am showing you is that it modulates, and we certainly get a lot of feedback, uh, but you can see that it modulates, and that's the key that I'm trying to show you, is that the modulation circuits are functioning. On 20 meters, we set the grid current for about 3 mils, and it is set. And then I put this the antenna tuning down to zero, throw this over in the CW portion. Generally, we, we won't get as much power out on 20 meters, but let's see what happens. I'll, I'll throw that over in the plate, and we got to dip this. Okay, and the power starts to come up as we dip it, and we increase that, and we dip it again. It's a back and forth type of thing, and we increase it, and we dip it again and we increase it and we got about 60 watts out for 75 in thinking that meter is reading a little high and that's 20 meters okay let's try it on 15 meters and see how we do i'll throw this in the tune position and i put the key in there and i have it pretty much all set for three mils uh, throw that in the CW position, throw that into plate, 
And let's see if we can find a dip here. We have no power because we have no dip. There we go. And we have a tiny bit of power out. And increase that. And the power goes up. And again, it's a balancing act back and forth so that we match the impedance, in this case, of a dummy load. The SWR is very low. And we have about 40 watts of po out, power out, maybe a little more. And okay. Let's try uh, 80 meters. Uh, put this down to zero. Uh, tune. We want to get the 3 mils of grid current. There we go. And throw that over into the CW portion. And oh, throw that over the plate. And we need to dip this. Get our maximum power out. And we don't need to raise this up because we have already have too much plate current. A problem I've noticed with my DX40, this is not my DX40, I have I have my own. And this DX40, uh, when I load it into this particular dummy load, I really can't seem to dip it. Uh, I can dip it, I can get maximum power out, but I can't get the plate current below, uh, down to 125. But the power out says 60 watts, so you got plenty of power out. So uh, that's the DX40. Uh, you saw it on a number of different bands, and I hope you would consider uh, buying it. It's a, not a perfect DX40, uh, but if you were six, when I'm six, when I got to be 60 years old, I wasn't perfect either.